So was there a transition point for you where you had a different outlook on mental health and how you can look at your mental health to be able to improve on how you deal with it? Just like this past year, I've really been kind of engaging with the local community and like helping others and even uh, um, at church. Uh, that's been really helpful. Um, I've met my, uh, I'm now engaged, I met my you know, fiance, I met her. In first year, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, met her in first year, and then I. Uh, the whole turnaround point for me is like when I actually really started to experience someone, someone else's mental health in a capacity that I can turn away from. Like I can ignore the fact that mental health is such an all-encompassing, uh, you know, uh, condition that affects everyone yeah. and affects the whole community. It's something that needs to be, you know, addressed, like in full rather than you know these just ways that aren't really kind of doing enough yeah so, so is that what you're hoping to use your course for yeah. yeah i want to so eventually i want to do a master's and i want to um be a uh, dance movement therapist um so with uh, learning music and kind of collaborating with multiple artists and just using everything that's to offer here at university to my advantage and really thriving and yeah, I mean, for example, I, my kind of really like true exposure to mental health and others and the community was when I, uh, last August, I, uh, I saved a teenage girl's life. Wow. And um, I found myself in a situation that I can, I can ignore what was happening here. I sent an altercation with her father, uh, it escalated. She totally dissociated. She was walking up like, the concourse and she had her belongings in her hands. And, so just dropped everything and ran and went to jump and you know I ran after her and I managed to save her life and after yeah. that that was kind of a turning point for me that I realised that I, I'm not doing enough for myself but most importantly not doing enough for others and that's an incredible story to hear yeah. you never really understand what impact or positive impact you have on someone's life until you really explore who that person is and invite them into a space where they can not only speak about what they're going through but be able to share stories with people so they know they're not alone and I yeah. think all of us have a lot of power to do that it doesn't matter who we are we don't have to be a uh, psychiatrist we don't have to necessarily understand that person but just sometimes being a listener is enough just listening to what people are going through is enough um, but it's all like you know it's, it's about second, I'm just gonna <laughs> <laughs> no worries hold that <laughs> I'm gonna reset the camera <laughs> no worries